Hello everybody and Happy New Year. Well, hopefully it's going to be a Happy New Year for us all. Now, before uh, lockdown, well, I say lockdown, uh, as I'm recording this, England might be in lockdown again. Who knows? We don't know. Uh, but uh, before we went into tier four, I nipped my local HMV and I got some blind boxes again. This time they have two pop vinyl ones and I got, oh God, that's heavy, some of the ones I got from the last time. Now, I know I said that I probably might not do these because they weren't that good. Uh, I thought I'd give them one more chance. And this is their one more chance. If they don't, then bugger them off. I ain't going to be doing that again. So, let's start with the pop vinyl boxes. Of course, it's £10, but two mystery pop vinyls. Now, I'm assuming you just get the pop vinyls on these. I do not know. Uh, but it says different colour boxes, different content. So, does that mean... Well, obviously, there was only these two. And I think there was a yellow one as well. I'm not quite so sure. But I thought I'd only grab the two. So I'm assuming they're from the same theme. Uh, uh, the ones in the box from the different ones. So I'm assuming you probably get either TV ones in here, movies in the other, or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, enough waffling. Let's go on with it. So, open. Is that where you took the sun tape off? Yes, I have. Right. So, starting off with the red one, we have uh, two... Uh, from Pop Animation, uh, two characters, I don't know, clue, Keith and Pidge. I don't know who the hell that is. Uh, open them up and get rid of the box. Uh, oh, they're from Voltron. The current, uh, I assume, looking at that because it says DreamWorks, the current iteration of Voltron, because, I don't know if you can there you go, that's better for you. Uh, it says DreamWorks Voltron. I didn't know DreamWorks had the rights to Voltron. Very different, very weird. Um, these look, look quite nice actually. I have always seen the Voltron uh, pop and I thought mm, that's quite good. I've never actually watched Voltron but these look actually quite good. Do I take these? I'm going to take these out. I got into the thing now where I used to have pop vinyls uh, and I never ever took them out of the box but I think I might just for these because these look really good. So this was, uh, who was this? Keith. Uh, and quite some weight to them, he's very quite some good actually, he's got a long, you guys probably know more than me, like I say, Voltron, I ain't got a clue, long sword there, quite angry look on his face, that is actually quite as good, it's not bobblehead, uh, like normal pops are, I'm going to put that there, that's quite good, and I guess get out Pidge, which is a weird name, I know that Voltron used to be uh, an old cartoon, so and like I say, are these the same character names? I don't know, but who knows? You like I say, you guys know that. Pidge, this is Pidge. He's, he looks a bit smaller. Uh, glasses, and he's not carrying a sword. This he's carrying a. Uh, I'd probably say that's a gun. I don't know. This this little thing there. I don't know. But like I say, these are really nice quality. Like I say, I'm not really one for getting Funkos out of the box, other than if I like them. But these are really high quality. I really do like these, and quite. Like compared to Marvel ones, like if I grab my bobblehead, like I say, some of them are bobbleheads, like Captain America here, it's these are much more high quality than this one. I mean, yeah, this is a, they're actually it's an actual Funko. I want to just stress that, but it, this feels a lot more better than this does. I mean, it's all rough and it's been chipped and all that, but it's still nice. But I'm going to pop that there. It's probably going to fall over. But no, like I say, these are really high quality and I hope the same in the other box are. But Pidge won't stand up. He's a bit too top heavy, Pidges. So, but anyway, that was good. That was very quite nice. So in the other one, so I'm assuming, oh, a bit of cough. Oh, not what you think, hopefully. I hope not, anyway. Uh, but yeah, so let's check what this one is. If it's, I doubt it's animation again, because they've got to be all different. It is movies. Um, I, lots of money. I don't know what kind of film this is about. Santa Louis and Special Agent what? Special Agent Orange from oh Trading Places. Um, never watched Trading Places. Um, is that Eddie Murphy's character? And that's uh 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 uh, uh Dan Aykroyd. Is that his character? I know who's in it, but I've never ever watched them, and I didn't actually know it was a Christmas film. Unless it's not a Christmas film and he just dresses up as Santa for some reason. So I don't know who these are. Who else could you have got? Billy Ray Valentine. That looks more like Eddie Murphy. So that is probably not Eddie Murphy. Seeing as he's got a different name on the back. And there's Lewis w Winthorpe the third, And I assume Santa Lewis is... So this is Dan Aykroyd then in the film. Let's get it out and have a look. Right. 
It, oh God, this is another heavy one. A bit like a um, what's his name? Yeah. So it's um, yeah, it's a different Santa. I mean, he doesn't have the beard, or is this his beard where this pink thing is? I don't know what that pink thing actually is. I don't know. Is it a tie? It looks like it's a piece of salmon. I don't know. What the hell could that be? Uh, but yeah, so like I say, I never watch Training Places, so I don't know. And Christmas has just gone, but that's kind of a weird Santa thing to have out on the day. So let's have a look at this Special Agent Orange. So I'm assuming this isn't Eddie Murphy's character. Another heavy one. The Funkos have got really heavy lately. I mean, like I say, I'm comparing them to the Marvel ones I've got, and Doctor Who and Back to the Future ones. They aren't as heavy, but these have really got some weight to them. So this is a uh, special agent orange in shades and a bit of snow. So it must be a Christmas film, Trading Places. Really did not know that. Uh, and it, has he got legs? Is he disabled in the film? I assume he is because he's got a little thing that says, A grateful war veteran thanks you. Merry Christmas. If you can read that. If it will. Uh, no. Oh, oh, oh. No. Never going to focus this webcam. I'm going to have to get a new one. Uh, but yeah, so that is, um, that's Trading Places. I suppose I'm going to have to give the film a watch now, because now I've got the thing, see what's the hell's going on. But yeah, so that was then. On to, this is a really heavy one, so I really want to open this one first, see what's in it. Uh, yeah, leave that one, I can't, I'm not the one, so I've only got the two. But this one, relax it, really heavy. And if I remember rightly, I should have checked before I went to HMV and bought these. I got another set. Were these the ones that weren't very good? I can't remember. I can't kind of remember them all not being good. But let's just hope. What well, making this heavy? Ooh, ooh, that's nice. So something I will definitely use a mug, which my wife ain't going to be happy about because that's another mug I've got. It's a Marvel mug, and that is it. Uh, old, old classic, kind of like my T-shirt that I also got for Christmas. Very nice. Hope you all had a nice Christmas, by the way. Uh, but yeah, so that's another mug for me. That my wife is really happy about. <laughs> uh, right then, what else do we have? We don't have a lot in here. It's virtually. Oh God. Uh, it's virtually um, stationery and stuff. Like this. This. Oh God. I really wish we didn't have it. Oh, thank God it's come apart. It is a Game of Thrones keyring of. Um, does it say who it's off? You guys probably do. I don't have a clue. The wife knows, she likes uh, Game of Thrones. No, whoever's got a lion. There you go. Chuck that down there. Might give the wife or chuck it outside and it's gone. So we have a, what's this? A premium notebook, another notebook. I keep getting notebooks. If I remember rightly, I had a lot of notebooks in the last box is, as well for that channel. I think I had both of them. Uh, but yeah, so it's a, I forgot to say, it's a Call of Duty Modern Warfare notebook that's that's quite nice it's got a bit of a um sort of like uh rubberized like you know when you have pe or gym or whatever you call it in those mats they either blue mats british people know what i'm on about here those really dirty smelly blue mats that you had in pe it feels like that it smells like them too <coughs> oh, oh jesus uh but yeah so it's a modern warfare Notebook, with, which of course is blank and it just says MW. Uh, that's quite good. I'll probably use that because I'm quite the one for notepads. Uh, Modern Warfare there. Call of Duty in general, really. I kind of dropped out in... Uh, ooh, when did I drop out of it? Black Ops 2. That was my last Call of Duty game I played. and not really kept up to date with it yet. But maybe, really. But yeah, so Modern Warfare notepad. That's not bad. What do we have next? Do we do that or that? Uh, let's do this. To do the tube. And I'm assuming a poster. So, uh, a poster of, uh, I don't know because it's entirely black. So, ah, there we go. What's the copyright say? The copyright says pirate. So, I don't know who this could be of. No, I don't know. But let's open it and have a look. It's, oh, oh, what the hell does that say? What does that say? Skepta, Wily, Dizzy and Lethal. And that's it. What the hell does that mean? these people DJs music people I don't know is there anything else on it pirant pirant it doesn't say anywhere what this means so if anybody does know please let me know but uh, yeah if it is it expensive I don't know it might not be expensive let's hope it's not expensive 
Uh, but yeah, and then the lastly, is it lastly? It is lastly. This is probably why I didn't really want these. It's a DC Superhero Girls. One of those, you know, like a 3D poster type thing. Yeah, um, mm, yeah, that can go. So I suppose this is the new, uh, well, cartoon, really. I think actually I've seen a bit of this. I'll put CITV or CVs, which for not British viewers is children's channels, basically. Uh, and I think I flicked this on when I was trying to put something on for my girls, and this is it. So this is, uh, that's Katana? Katana? Can't remember, uh, yeah. Then of course Wonder Woman, I know her. Batgirl, Batgirl, Batgirl. Supergirl, very inventive with the names here, guys. Uh, that is a uh, a wasp type character, but not the wasp. I don't know who that is. I'm not really up to date with DC, so I don't know. That obviously Harley Quinn, and that is Poison Ivy from the looks of it. Um, so yeah, but yeah, I mean, don't know who that is. But there you go. Another thing I don't know. This video is full of riveting facts for you. Uh, but yeah, so that was that. Um, yeah, it was all right. Heavy. I don't. I think it was the mug. That was making that so heavy because everything else in it is just paperweight stuff really. But uh, yeah, uh, and then this one, oh, this one's quite heavy. And uh, something fairly thingy in it. Uh, hopefully it's not the same stuff I've got here. Yeah, I have. Let's have a look then. If it's the, ew. oh, what the hell? Well, taking first glance, it's exactly the same as what I've just opened. Of course it's different stuff, but it's exactly the same. So if I remember rightly, Hold on, I've still got it here somewhere. This is what I got out of one of them last time. It was an iron um, notepad. So I'm assuming these ones just have the stuff that HMV is trying to get rid of. Which I think I said in the last video. Uh, but yeah, so the thing that's making this heavy weight, because again, we've got another mug, and it's a Fight Club mug. So uh, another film I've not watched. I've watched bits of it. Chuck that down there. A lot of rubbish. It's, there's going to be a lot of rubbish. I need my bins clean. And it's, oh, is it one of these? Hold on. It is. It's one of these mugs that where you heat it up, it uh, shows more off. So basically, so far it just says, Gentlemen, welcome to Fight Club, rules. And then I assume, rule one, don't talk about Fight Club. Rule two, don't talk about Fight Club. Rule three, I got an Oscar out of it. So there you go. Actually, did he? Brad Pitt, did he get an Oscar? Or Edward Norton? Someone got something out of it, I'm sure they did. Uh, but yeah, so basically, when it heats up, it just says, you do not talk about Fight Club. And number two, you do not talk about Fight Club. So I was right there, so that's kind of good. But yeah, so another mug, uh, Fight Club mug. Probably won't use that, because it's a mug. I'll probably use it, who knows. Uh, moving on, uh, rather than, oh God, a key ring, it's a bloody coaster of uh, Game of Thrones. This is a uh, tiger. Oh, it says Stark. So this is another thing for the wife. It says Winter is Coming Stark. Uh, is that a wolf? I don't know. Wolf or a dragon or what? Uh, if because I've watched, well, I've not watched any, but when the wife's been watching it in the back, I hear uh, Winter Wolf, so I'm assuming that's Wolf and it says Winter, so that's my guess. But oh, god, it stinks. Uh, but yeah, that's for the wife, so that's not bad. Uh, and then, another, like I say, it's virtually the same. We've got another notepad. This is of uh, Toy Story, obviously. Uh, oh, it says. Surprise inside. I don't know what though, because it just feels like a notepad. So let's quickly get this open. We might have an extra thing. So it's a notepad, of course, the aliens from Toy Story. I want to know what the surprise is. What's the surprise? Uh, nothing there. Paper, 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 paper. Still paper. Oh, oh my God! We've got Toy Story stickers. That's the surprise. It's better than nothing. It's of. Uh, well, I was just going to say just Toy Story, but then it's got these little P things. They're from uh, Toy Story 3, I think. Yeah, the P things. So, yeah. So, Toy Story 3 stickers. Probably won't use them. And I'll use that. It's a notepad. So, I'll use that. That can go up there with the rest of them, because i am getting quite a collection of notepads lately. Uh, but, yeah, stickers. I'll probably give them to my daughters. Uh, and then we've got another one of these scoobly, squibbly things. It's upside down. No, it, it does matter because the title there. So it's a Spider-Man Homecoming one. That's not bad. I quite like that. Uh, but of course, he's hanging upside down because he's Spider-Man and he 
hangs upside down and doesn't get her headaches apparently when it stands upside down. Um, but yeah, so another one though, that can probably go down there and in the bin. Uh, and then lastly, we have another poster, so it's virtually the same. So, like I say, this was their last chance, and their last chance of, they've ruined it. So, basically, the same things, not really the same, well, it is the same things in different boxes, but virtually the same. They've got those other boxes, which I think, if I remember rightly, it was a smaller box, but they had way much more variety in them. So, I think I might get if I can. next time, and it's broken. I can't get the thing off. So I might give those one more chance. These ones are definitely not. Especially at the price of art. Now, is this going to be something I know or not? It's a load of old trees for it lately. Still trees. Oh, what does that say? It says Radiohead. Oh, it's Radiohead. So, I know who Radiohead is. Um, <clears throat> that's virtually it. Some trees. Is it trees? I don't know. It's a band. Don't like music. So it's a band of Radiohead a poster. So I'm assuming that other one that uh, I had no idea who the names were. They were that was a band too, or DJs or rappers or people who think they're hard but they're really not, but they've had a bad upbringing. Anyway, I won't go into that because I don't want to cause any distress or uh, anything to DJs or rappers or whatever. But who cares about music? So anyway, but yes, on a lighter note, that's the video over. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to go get a drink because my throat is really scratchy. That's a bit worrying, but I should be alright. Hopefully. I don't go out, so I should be alright. But anyway, uh, if you've liked this, please like the video if you want. I'm not telling you what to do, but if you want to like it, like it. Uh, yeah, and subscribe to the channel if you wish. I've got a few more videos coming out, because it's the new year, so new year, new me, as they say. So yeah, look out for not more videos coming soon. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.